Heindahl, welcome to the Core Blast Polytech On Demand. Today I'm going to lead you through a 30 minute core workout. We have three rounds, 30 seconds each and 30 seconds rest. So we're going to go through four exercises in each round. But first, this is what you need. You're going to need a mat, maybe a water bottle. Today, something different. Maybe some resistant bands. You might have some of these kicking around the house or just a basic brand. And that's gonna be for our glute bridge at the start. So let's start our warm up. We're gonna go for about a 20 second of jumping jacks. Let's get started here. Here we go. So let's just see how the body's feeling, 20 seconds. So let's just do some easy jumping jacks. How are the shoulders? How are the hands feeling? Now bring the toes wide, be light on your feet. And then we're gonna go down and do our dynamic warm up on the mat. It's the same as last week. So you can get to know how your body feels. So let's go in three, two, one. Let's go to the top of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in, look up with the hands, hinge at the hips, walk with your hands. Put the bum up in the air. Put that right leg up and bring it through. Take a deep breath. Look up at your hand. Bring it out. And now rotate with the hips clockwise. How's everything feeling in there? Make sure that knee is stacked over the ankle. Let's be gentle here. Put that foot back. Maybe try a little pedal. Very gentle, very gentle. Heel to the ground. Bring that other leg up. Bring it to the outside of the hand. Now look up and breathe. There, breathe out. And clockwise with the hip. Nice circles. Here we go. Put that foot down. Bring that other foot back. Now try to bring that tailbone up to the ceiling. And lightly pedal those legs. Be gentle here. One more. Take a deep breath in. Bring that foot up. Swing it to the outside. Same thing. But we're going to rotate the hips the opposite direction that you just did. Okay? Making sure all the joints are warm. Core is not just the abdominals. Bring that foot back. Pedal. Bring that other leg up. And then to the outside. And then we're going to rotate the opposite direction. Do you remember which way you went? Yeah. And then you're going to walk that foot back. And then walk the hands and feet together. And then roll up. Breathe. And down. So we're going to start our first exercise today. We're going to go on the mat. It's going to be your hip bridge. So if you're going to use the resistance band, just to bring it up a little notch, put that band just above your knees. And then we're going to get set up. So come down, bring the back onto the mat. So you're going to make sure that the heels are near your fingers. And then we're going to, there we're going to start. So you're going to put your lower back into the bench, squeeze the glutes, and then bring up the hips. Now, if you've got the resistance band, feel it on the outside of the knee. Keep squeezing. We're going to hold it here for 30 seconds. So you're squeezing the glutes as tight as you can. We're going to be done in five, four, three, one. Now, one vertebrae at a time, bring it down. And then we're going to go into our plank. So you've got some options with your plank. You can be on your hands and toes. You can be on your knees. Or bring your knees off the floor. The first one, I'm going to be on my hands. So you're going to make sure that that elbow is pointing to those knees in the back. You're going to brace the belly. We're going to go in three, two, one. Lift the bum up. Nice flat back. And then drive those elbows towards those ankles. Squeeze the glutes. Now make sure you're nice and tight inside, squeezing those armpits together. 
Hold it there. You have done. Now your gaze is about two inches ahead of your those fingers. Lines that neck. We're gonna be done in three, two, one. Drop it down. Now by request, we got our side plank. You guys wanted more of these, so I put one in some more in this, the third set. So you have options. You can be on your knees and then bring it up. You can bring one knee down. You can bring both feet up. You can stack them. Or final, you can bring them up and then bring the other leg up at the same time and hold it there. So you have some options. I'm gonna cross over, bring the hips up, bring the hands up, look at your alignment. Is your elbow under your shoulder? So you wanna create some, some space in here. You might be sagging, so bring it up. Squeeze those glutes together, the inner thighs, bring them together. You got seven seconds left. Come on, you got this. Three, two, one. Now drop the hips, let's do the other side. Okay, so make sure, elbow, shoulder, check. Now you know the option, do the same one that you did on the other side. I'm crossing over. Now watch the hips are stacked, one on top of the other. So we're gonna go in about 10 seconds, and then hold it for 30. Okay, get ready, dig into the mat. Let's get started, 30 seconds. So squeeze it together, nice and tight. You got 15 seconds, come on. Hold it. Now these oblique muscles, they're really good for stability and balance. Two, one, and bring it down. We're gonna go to that glute bridge again. So if you're gonna use the bands, put the bands on. And then, there we go. Make sure it's nice and comfortable. Find that spot on the floor. Bring those heels nice and close. Let's go in five, four, Three, the glute bridge. Squeeze the glutes. Push the lower back into the floor. Now rise it up. And you're going to hold it there. Pretend you've got a campfire under your bum. You don't want to get singed, do you? You keep it up there. Hold it there. Half done. Be aware of what's going on with the glutes. They're nice and tight. Three. Two, one. Now bring it down. Get rid of the band. We're gonna go right into that plank. Now you remember the options. Maybe you want to try some di something different. Try some on your elbows, okay? So we get the start position. Now anytime, maybe you can start on your knees and you bring one knee up at a time. If then you're just starting out with the plank. So let's get ready. Everything's under, elbow under shoulders. Now bring those knees up. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Pretend you got grapefruits under your armpits and you're making juice. Really tight, really tight. It's not about endurance, it's about tightness. Feeling the core working together. Five seconds, come on. Two, one, drop the knee, good work. Let's go right to the side plank. Now you have some options, remember? Bent knee, one leg out, crossing the legs or stacking them, okay? So you're gonna work with that, do what's best for you today. I'm gonna try stacking mine today. So you're gonna make sure your hips are stacked, you're not gonna roll, most people like to roll. You're gonna keep it stacked. Elbow, shoulder, lined up. Brace the core. Now bring it up. And you're going to hold it here. So you pretend. Pretend you got a water balloon between your thighs. You don't want anybody taking it. Right? So squeeze it, squeeze it. 
Make sure you're stacked. You're not going to roll. And you've got some space between the mat and the hips. Seven seconds. One, I know you can do this, Miri. Let's go. Two, one. There, put the hips down. Let's go to the other side. Make sure you do the same one that you did before, okay? So line yourself up. 15 seconds. You got time to take a break anytime? Take it. Okay, make sure everything's stacked. Let's bring those hips up. There we go. This one's a little tougher for me today. I'm sure you got yours. So let's squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. So make sure the hips aren't rolling. Like you got a camera shooting out of your belly button straight. It's not shooting at the sky. It's straight. You got 12 seconds left. Come on, hang on. This is where the change happens. Three, two, one. There you go. Okay, good news. You are done set number one. Let's go on to set number two. We're gonna do the glute bridge we did these last week. So they're going to be, with the right leg up, they're gonna be glute bridges, right? So you got your foot up to the ceiling like you're gonna put your sneaker mark right into the ceiling. You got your right heel close into the floor. And then you're gonna lift those hips up, squeezing the glutes. So let's go. We're gonna do singles. They're up and then down. Squeeze up and down. So you're gonna feel that right heel digging into the floor, helping that foot that's in the air up. And then you're gonna feel the glute, that right glute sucking in bringing it up. Now you're going to go your own pace, right? And done. Put that leg down. Let's bring that up. Maybe you got to give yourself a little hug right here. Right? So we're going to do it again on the other side. So you're going to make sure that this heel is going to imprint that ceiling up high. And this heel is going to dig into the ground. Pushing. Squeezing the glutes up. Okay, we're gonna go in five seconds. Two, one. Squeeze up and down. Up and down. Like if you can only get up maybe an inch, you're still squeezing the glutes to bring it up. You're, maybe the muscle just needs some waking up, right? Good morning, right? Half done. Up and down. There you go. You got five seconds. You're going your own pace. Body awareness, right? Give yourself a hug. Okay, so let's go on all fours. We're going to do the bird dog. So part of the bird dog is having a nice strong back. This is a safe abdominal exercise, safe for the back too. So you're going to make sure that your knees and hips are lined up. And then you're going to make sure your wrists and shoulders be surprised, one inch or one centimeter makes a big difference. You're going to lift the chest, brace the core, draw the abdominals in, and you're going to bring that right hand and left leg out, and then bring it in. Other side. Keep that knees ahead to align the neck, and then other side. Now, common mistake, you want to make sure that you're totally aligned up. So that weight's a little bit forward in the hands, because then you're going to use those core for stability. And then you're done that one. Good work. So we're going to do a plank again, but this time we're going to have a toe tap added to it. Now that's advanced. If you're not ready for the toe tap, come on your knees. Make sure you got a nice flat back and watch. Look at my knees. You're going to bring one knee up at a time. That is the option to the toe tap. Now, if you're ready for the toe tap, you're gonna start out on your elbows and you're gonna bring one out and in, other leg out and in. Now you're gonna watch those hips, that they stay nice and steady. 
Needs a lot of concentration. Now, a fun part, if you're in sock feet, hardwood floor, you can be on your socks and slide your feet out and in. We should do that sometime, right? Three seconds. Put the knee down, good work. Let's get on your back. Let's do that glute bridge, one-legged, right? Right leg, gonna be on the ground. Left foot in the air. We've been here before, right? So let's just try to get it up just a little bit higher. In control. Speed isn't necessary here. You wanna master the exercise. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Okay, bring it up and down. So you're gonna notice that there's gonna be one glute. Maybe you're unbalanced, right? I know I've been riding one-legged for about five years, and that's just been discovered. So I got a lot of work to do. We all have work to do, right? We got 10 seconds left. Squeeze and down. And you, there you go. Put that leg down. Maybe give yourself a little hug. Okay. I'm going to do the other leg. And then you don't have to see these ones again. It's not great. <laughs> so you're going to bring that leg up. We're going to go in about 15 seconds. If you can't get the knee straight, it's okay. Maybe you can't. Right? I can only straighten one leg too. So, hey. we got five seconds. Four. Three. Okay, squeeze the glutes, drive the heel in, bring it up and down. So you're going to really focus here. Maybe touch your bottom. Is it squeezing? So you get that awareness. Maybe we haven't had it in a while, right? You got this. You're over half then. Maybe you feel a little bit in the upper hamstring too, right? Five seconds. Here you go, give yourself a nice big hug. And let's go with that plank. Oh, toe tap plank. Now remember your options. Your options can be lifting the legs, right? That's where you're at today, perfect. So make sure that you are lined up. Shoulder, elbow lined up. Hold the plank, squeeze the glutes, inner thighs together. Let's start our toe tap. Out and in, out and in, out and in. There we go, you can go a little quicker. If you're gonna go faster, make sure those glutes and your bottom is nice and stable. No hips are a rocking. 15 seconds. So you can, do, you can add some intensity to these if you'd like. First, get the awareness. Five seconds, come on. And done. Awesome job. You are done set number two. We're going to go right into set number three. So let's do the glute bridge alternating legs. We've done this last week. This is a challenge. It's good to work the, the back and the front. That's what we're doing. So this one, you're going to lift one up. You're going to keep those hips up. And then you're gonna lift one leg up, either by the knee. All right, let's get started together. By the knee, or you're gonna lift the leg up. But you know what, my, I know that my hips rock. If I lift it up too high, I'm not quite there yet. But if you are there yet, go for it, right? Ooh. So the goal for this one is to keep those hips high. You don't want them sinking. Two, one, oh, put it down, squeeze. Now, let's go to the side plank. This had, this was requested to me, actually. I do know who you are. So the side plank, we're gonna add another option to this one. So if you're gonna be on your toes, I like to have your fingertips at your temple. Everything's lined up and you're gonna crunch, crunch it over, but you're twisting so you're not your elbow, it's your shoulder moving towards your belly button. So let's get started. So you're going to keep that alignment. You're going to crunch it over. 
So you're going to make sure those hips are slapped, glutes are tight. Now it's your shoulder coming towards the belly button. Your elbow's just kind of there, hanging out. Two, one. Let's go to the other side. So whatever you did on that side, you have to do on this side. Balance, right? It's like riding a bike, right? Gotta keep moving, stay balanced. 15 seconds, so make sure your hips are all stacked. Oh, remember bent, one leg out, stacked, or crossing over. Okay, let's get ready. Lift them up, make sure everything's stacked. And if you're gonna do the, the crunch, you're gonna do the crunch, but you got lots to think about here. So it's your, you feel the core lifting you up, you're twisted, and then up. About 10 seconds left. So you're holding that hip above the mat at the same time. Five seconds. And then put your knee down and bring yourself up. So we have a walking plank. This is taking one of the plank a one step further. So with this one, you are gonna start on your elbows and you're gonna move up to your hands. So you're gonna be on your elbows and then you're gonna move up to your hands, but try not to get the hips sinking. You want a nice flat back. You ready? No modified. You can bring one heel up at a time, okay? Right? So you wanna make sure that those hips don't sag. Try to keep that butt down. So you wanna keep that hand. You wanna come up, the first hand is gonna be different every time, okay? So try not to get the hips to rock, nice and steady. Like you got a glass right on top of your back, you don't wanna spill it. Here we go. We got one more set left. And then it's home time, right? So let's alternate that glute bridge, alternating legs. So find a position, heels close to fingers. You're getting really good at this, aren't we? Get started in about 10 seconds. So you're gonna make sure that you got that nice neutral spine. Now push the lower back into the bench. Now squeeze the glutes, bring it up. Hold it here. Now you can hold it here if you're getting fatigued or bring one leg up at a time. But you gotta watch that sag, sag of the hips. No, no, we don't want that happening. Good work. You got 10 seconds left. Five seconds. One. Now bring it down one vertebrae at a time. Let it rest and bring the knees in. Hug. Here we go. Nice and slow, right? No rush, you got a lot of time. Side plank. You can do those crunches again, or you can hold it. And you get some decisions to make, huh? How are you feeling right now? I'm gonna try those crunches again. So let's bring those hips up. Hands high, now if you're gonna crunch, bring those fingertips to the forehead, and then with your shoulder, chest, you're coming down. So that upper, that armpit is coming towards the elbow. Now you're squeezing the glutes the whole time. You start feeling it, that oblique. Two, one, and you're done. Nice. You can do the other side. It has to be the same. I'm kind of, kind of wondering what I was doing there, but hey. So I'm gonna try it stacked. I think that's where it was, I don't remember. Remember, you can have some water. You can do it, five minutes left. You can do this. So let's bring those hips up, get that position. Bring the hand up, squeeze the glutes. Now if you're doing the crunch, then paint the hands to the temple. And there you go. And you're gonna twist it over while holding those hips off the ground. 
work in the core. So you're feeling it. Twist and then untwist. So you've got eight seconds left. This is advanced, this option. This is what you work up to. And you'll get there. I know you will. So side plank. Nope, done side plank. We're gonna go to the plank, walking plank. Now you know your options. You could hold the plank for 30 seconds. Or try to come up on your hands. Now you know what to look for. You don't want those hips rocking. Okie doke. So let's get that nice posture set up. Everything's all lined up, nice flat back. Tuck those toes under. If you're coming with me, lift them up. Here we go. Let's bring that right hand up, left hand up, left hand down, right hand down, left hand, right hand. Watch those hips don't sag, right? You don't want them sagging. If you're dyslexic, you kind of forgot which hand you had. Nothing <laughs> matter with that. No way. It's a gift. Bring it down. Bring it up. Up. Down. Down. And you are done. Awesome. So let's get some nice cool down going on. We're going to do a little bit of cat cow. So what cat cow is, is that we're going to bring our tailbone down. So we're stretching our core, our abdominals, and our back. Be very gentle with this one. So you're going to make sure you're all lined up. Here we go. So take a nice deep breath in, lift the chest. Now just see how your back naturally lines. Just be there, be in it. Now breathe in, fill up the lines, tuck in the tailbone, and then look at your knees. There you go. Now bring the tailbone up and look at the horizon. Everybody, has a different range, okay? We're all individuals. We all are different. One more. Look between the knees. And then look up. And let's go back for a nice, gentle child's pose. Could be wide-legged, whatever, right? Bring the butt back, just bring it where it goes, you feel the shoulders. Now we're going to, we're going to stretch the upper back and some of the obliques. So you're going to walk that right hand over to your left and then you're going to bring that right hip towards the wall. Away from me, you're going to breathe in, bring it right back to the middle, walk your hands. Another way, you're going to walk up to the other side, and then you're going to bring that opposite hip the opposite direction. You should feel that stretch in there. Maybe in the shoulder, maybe upper back. And then we're going to come on up. Here we go. Let's do my favorite stretch. Got time for that one, huh? My favorite stretch. I just like this hug, and then rocking back and forth, right? Now let's really stretch the core. Let's do a nice big stretch like you're getting up in the morning. So bring that hands up. Now if you got your back issues, bring one leg up. Breathe in, another hug. Keep that other leg up. You can bring both legs up if you like, but this is gentler on the back. And out. There you go. Roll to the side, push yourself up. And you did it today, awesome, I'm proud of you. So I'll see you next week. Third, I'll see you Thursday, 2.30. So stay tuned, thanks a lot.